Hey guys, RW here. Uh, I repaired the target. I welded a grade 8 half inch bolt onto the back of the AR500 plate on my target down here. I'll zoom in in a minute, you'll see the target. And uh, we're at a pretty good distance here. You know, we're like 50 yards or something. I'll, I'll, I'll pace it off later and let you know exactly. But what I've got here is a great opportunity since we got that target that swings around and you can tell if you hit it and everything. Let's see what birdshot will do from this distance. It's a, it's a great big long distance there, you know. It's, uh, so will the birdshot even hit the target? Will it be spread out too far? This is a 18 inch smoothbore barrel. No choke at all. It was a 28 inch barrel that I cut down. So it just flies right out of it and it really spreads out. There's no choke at all. So the way I'll do this is I'll start off with the bird shot. So let me get the wax slugs, which I want to compare to it because it's the exact same load. It's, it's actually less. It weighs a little bit less. You can get the wax mixed with the shot in the shell that holds the shot together. Let's see if those will get on target. And we'll see what kind of impact at this distance either one of them has. Plus this is pretty much about the effective distance you could hope to get with a uh, a wax slug, you know, and actually hit what you want to hit. So first, before I get shooting here, you saw me load up, you know what we got in the pipe here. So right now we're going to put a, a, just a regular old bird shot in the pipe there. Okay. Let me zoom in. So we can really watch the target moving around. But you can see it's pretty good ways away. This should give us a pretty good effect of, of what's hitting it or not. As a matter of fact, I'll go in it even closer if it'll allow me here. Yep. And this way we can really see if anything at all is hitting it from this distance. Well, here's the bird shot. Well, the target is swinging a little bit. Let's do two more. Yep, target is swinging a little bit. It's swinging about as hard as when I hit it with a 22. I think the wad is hitting it. I just saw the wad bounce off and I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go with the wax slug now. Okay, exact same powder charge, exact same size of shot, but it's just a wax slug. Give that another blast. So you can see at this distance, I don't know what this is, I'll have to pace it off. I don't know, maybe 30 yards. So I'm having no problem smacking it with the bird shot. Let me zoom back real quick so you guys can see me here. So if you haven't played around with wax slugs, it's definitely something to think about. Now, for about a dollar, you can shoot some military buck. So I thought, let's go ahead and run some buckshot. Okay, this is double aught. This is a, you know, a magnum shell. And uh, I'm really curious to see how much that makes it swing. So let's zoom back in. So we can compare birdshot, wax slugs, and military buck. Let me get a little closer. All right, it's happy. All right, then. Let's see if I can get this baby. That's hitting about maybe as hard as when I hit it with a 9mm. That's how that looks to me. Alright guys, I hope you, you found that entertaining, edifying, whatever. Uh, but I would encourage you to consider making wax slugs if you're into a shotgun. Uh, you look at every other round out there. 9 millimeter. if you're lucky, you can get it about 17 cents a shot. You know, you can get 45, maybe 23 cents a shot. 
Uh, you could, you know, I'm talking buying in bulk now. But you can run right down to Walmart, pick up a box of 100 shotgun shells for like 25 bucks. And the bird shot might be fun if you just want to make noise and pepper stuff. But if you want to blow up milk jugs, you want to hit steels at, you know, reasonable ranges and stuff, man, just mix that shot with some wax, put it back in. You don't have to do anything else. Pretty simple way to reload if you don't have a lot of reloading equipment or time. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out. Thanks for supporting Mountain Storm with your likes, comments, views, and subscriptions. And I will hit you on the flip.